นักมวยในมุมน้ำเงิน The Fighter in the Blue Corner น้ำหนัก 72.5 กิโลสูง184 Weighing in at 72.5 kg, standing 184 centimeters tall. 38 fights, 30 wins, 7 losses against one draw. From Armenia, this is Salim Khan a b r i g a b o v El k u d o s u k o n g o n e m u m d a n g and his opponent. Fighting in the red corner, น้ำหนัก 72.4 กิโลสูง180 Weighing in at 72.4 kilograms, standing 180 centimeters tall. With 36 fights, 28 wins against 8 losses. มาจากประเทศบราซิล From Brazil, the reigning, defending champion of the world, Victor Hugo. And your referee, w i s u t y i n g u p a k a n So here we go into the action for our fourth bout of the day, the WBC Muay Thai middleweight belt on the line at 160 pounds. Introducing first in the blue corner, d a l a m Email belt holder Barbara Aguirre there as well. Some strong contenders of the gym. Leo Elias in the corner of Victor, and Tim Fisher in Salam Khan's corner as well. Salam Khan, or Tim Fisher, the owner of Revolution Gym, and located in Sarin, Sarin Beach, in northwest Phuket. Uh, very nice beaches there. So Victor, a very very strong traditional fighter. We'll see how Salam Khan comes out. I have a feeling this thing's going to be a banger, though. Mm. Yeah, Victor looking very very aggressive already. The two vying for hand control here. Salam Khan, the Argentinian in the blue in the southpaw position. You know, a lot of times with these southpaw versus orthodox fights, it's about that hand control, it's about that positioning. And you can see Victor automatically just controlling that hand, walking off to his left. Really yeah. trying to open up that open side of the of, of Slim Con. Yeah, and a lot of times the athlete with the higher hand will win these exchanges as well. That's why you see Victor sort of swatting down Salam Khan's hand. It looks like the Armenian has maybe a slight height reach advantage. Nice block there from Victor. A little bit of a slow testing start so far. High kick there from the Armenian. Oh, nice inside leg kick from Victor. A lot of the time, the athletes will be targeting with the rear weapons for the southpaw. Blue corner, it will be that left kick, left hand for Victor. The right kick, right hand. You can see s a l i m Khan just measuring, measuring. He's, he's fainting. Trying to see, trying to see how Victor reacts. Trying to see where he can set up. Some of what I see is coming up with some big strikes like that. Just a flying over the top elbow. You know, we do see oh, beautiful body kick there from Victor and great balance, going strong recovery. Love the oh, strong body kick again. This slicing into the midsection of s a l a m Khan. Good inside leg kick there as well from the Brazilian. s l i m k a n in more of a boxing type of posture and stance. He's almost tucked a little bit tighter to his ribs. It'll be interesting to see if Victor recognizes that. 
Yeah, and you see Salim Khan switching stances very momentarily. He has a little bit of that kickboxing feel to him now. Yeah. You see that bounce? Like you said, that, that bad body kick just slices right underneath that elbow. Here's some of the replays there. High kick there from Salim Khan. The elbow as well. Beautiful jumping elbow just raising the top of Victor's head. But Victor had some punishing body kicks. Well, you can already see the red marks on the left side of Salim Khan's body. That's, that's and for the WBC Muay Thai Middleweight Belt Championship, Victor Hugo defending his belt. Yogi's off. Round two. Yeah. Nice inside leg kick from him. Oh, there's that cunning body kick from Victor. Fast punches. Ooh, big elbow. And you see Salim Khan trying to jump on Victor here. Let's see if Victor can maintain his composure. Yeah. I feel like Salim Khan almost got the jump on him there. This is an unorthodox sort of assault from the Armenian. Surprised Victor a bit. Oh. Back to the feet. Nice high kick there from the Brazilian. And you can see the Brazilian recognizing that those arms are pinned a little bit closer to the body. He's going to start attacking that left hand, that straight left. Just trying to move that straight left from Salim Khan. There you go, and get a little bit higher. Yeah, if Victor is able to aim a little higher, he'll neutralize that rear hand. If he continues to aim to the body, he'll cut into the gas tank. Yeah, you can see both the arms and the body now of Salim Khan. Looking a little bit, not a little bit, but a lot of bit red. <laughs> yeah, red as a tomato. Oh, oh. Nice body kick so from Salim Khan. Salim Khan comes back hard. <laughs> it's a clinch here. Leo. Victor climbing on top of Salim Khan. Victor leading into battle here, into the clinch. So far we've seen the two st stall in the clinch. You see Salim Khan really press his hips forward, not making space for the knees. Oh, big, well-timed body kick from Victor, knocking Salim Khan off balance. Oh, it looked like he, he might have rocked him with that hand. Yeah, I think he's being a little, I think he's a little bit busy with that. It's a clinch. This is where a lot of athletes will spend their time if they're injured. They can buy themselves some time, clear their heads. Oh, big left hand again from Salim Khan. Good round for Salim Khan on that one. Nice. Yeah, how do you have this one looking so far, Patrick? I got it at 1-1. One, one. I got the Brazilian for the first round and the Armenian on the second round. Armenian came out strong despite those big body and arm kicks. The Armenian came out strong with the barrage of various strikes at different angles. Now here's some of the replays from that very, very interesting second round of action. You see Victor holding on in the clinch, trying for that takedown. Beautiful body kick from him. Bang! Racking right hand from him. There's that well-timed body kick. Boom! There, yeah, I think that was the hand that really rocked Victor. I agree. To snap the head back of the Brazilian. 
I, I got a feeling this is going to be a banger of a round. And we see a little bit of bruising on the right side of Victor's face. You can see it. Ooh. Oh, a nice body kick from Victor. Then again, you see Solomon Count pressing in with his hips. He doesn't seem he's that adept at the clinch. So just stalling his stance. Very long here, Salman Khan. Which makes for powerful punches, but also makes him vulnerable to these big body kicks from Victor. Again, the right body kick from Victor. Victor inching his way forward here. Ooh, a spinning attack there from Salam Khan. There's a stall from Victor. But you see from that positioning, it just looks like Salam Khan isn't so adept in the clinch. Almost let himself fall into that. Oh, there's a cut. That cut is open. Yeah. A little bit of a low blow there as well. Accidental though. Yeah, it looks like the right eye of Victor is a little dinged up. And the Armenian recognizes he's gonna try to key up on that. Yeah, a little bit of a slip there into the clinch. And you see how close Salam Khan gets with his hips and immediately pushes into the ropes. He wants to stall in the clinch. And again, Victor stalling as well. Less than 60 seconds left in this third round. Yeah, and blood starting to trickle down the right side of Victor's eye. This on the corner of the eye, it's not in a dangerous position at all. Oh, good body kick there from Victor. And you see, Salem Khan rhythm steps that time. Just bounces back, then bounces forward. Oh. Now a bit flat-footed, the Armenian. There again, you see that heavy lean from Salam Khan. Yeah, good ob observation. This tends to either press his hips in or lean the upper body on. Boom! And a nice score there from Victor to end the third round. Wow, beautiful round. Both by each. Yeah, how do you have that last round looking? That accurate? one was pretty tight. That one was really, really tight. But I do think Victor Skink, uh, I think Victor squeezed that one. How, how do you think? How did you feel about that? Yeah, I would agree with you. I think that we saw more effective damage from Victor, and that's really what we want to see. Here's some of the replays. The block kick there, this punch, but that last punch connecting the spinning back fist, doing a little bit of damage, uninterrupted body kicks here from Victor. And then here's the knee to the back to end out the round. Yeah, just a little bit of a nick at the corner of the it's eye. It's gonna be an issue as the blood will run away from the eye eyeball. Yeah, it's the fourth round. I mean, the Vaseline will slip and slide off the skin. So, Gokichi, round four. Oh, cutting kick there from the Armenian. And you see that lead hand of Victor's palm open. Oh. Great counterattack to that body kick by the Armenian. Yeah, again, there's that heavy chest on Victor in the clinch. 
you see Victor trying to get a range. Nice counter kick from him. The Arminian blasting off his as well. Going kick for kick here. A little bit of blood on the Arminian's face as well. Not sure where that's coming from yet. Long punches from him. And you see Victor trying to score with the knees. Not always super effective. Keep my fight! Keep my Keep my Keep my Wants to bait Victor in first. Yeah, you see him trying to get him into his range. Oh, nice body kick there from Victor. Nice knee there from. Salam Khan as well. Oh, good body kick. Oh, excellent cutting kick there from Salam Khan. As we go into this final minute of the fourth round of action. You see Salam Khan, ooh, still trying to, almost, oh! Great shot there from Salam Khan. We've got less than a minute left in this fourth round. Both oh. fighters are turning up the action. Both fighters. Oh, spinning attack there from the Armenian. Both fighters really fight for that green and gold WBC Muay Thai World Championship belt. And Victor pressing in. Again, Salam Khan waiting for Victor to edge himself in. The push kick there from the Brazilian. And again, you see the same tactics from Salam Khan when they get into the clinch. He just is heavy chested and presses Victor to the ropes. For the OPC and the round four. I, I think it's pretty even going into the fifth round, uh, personally. Uh, if anything could happen on this uh, on this fifth and final round. How do you see that? Yeah, I would have to agree with you. I think that uh, Victor has made this fight dangerously close. Yeah. You know, yeah. his perhaps inability to block some of these wild punches, and again, not not understanding the distancing in the clinch and what. Salam Khan is doing when they engage in the clinch. Salam Khan is just leaning his chest onto Victor. Yeah, yeah, he's not, and, not, not much action there. And Victor could put decisive in his favor. You can see in Salam Khan's corner, corner uh, taking care of that small cut. Athlete in Salam Khan's corner. Right behind us, Salim Khan's friends and brothers really egg, uh, encouraging to really fight hard for these next three minutes. And he's going to have that green and gold strap. Can go either way at this point. Yeah, I totally agree with you, Patrick. You know, Victor definitely has a more traditional Muay Thai style, but Salim Khan has landed decent damage. Oh! Beautiful setup with those punches into that big body kick. Yeah, and you saw Victor get moved off balance, which means it was an effective attack. A good body kick there from Victor. But it immediately returned with punches, a barrage of punches and a kick by Salim Khan. Great action by both fighters. There's that lean you're talking about, Matt. Yeah, yeah. yeah. and we see Victor just stalling himself. He very quickly turns into a block. Nice attacks there. Oh, 
Oh, nice body kick there from the Armenian inside leg kick. The Armenian bouncy on his feet here. And Victor maybe a little hesitant about blasting off that right body kick. These fighters got 90 seconds, 90 seconds to commit to judge it. That green and gold belongs to them. That WBC Muay Thai World Championship belt belongs to one of them. Both of them really need to turn on this fire. Yeah, both athletes here need this final round. And I feel it's neck and neck, maybe with Salam Khan in a slight lead here. I agree on that. You can see the concern in the corner of the red. You can feel, you can feel the excitement in the crowd. It is thick. Yeah, nice body kick there from Victor. Seems like the crowd is waiting for something big to happen. Let's see if it does. Oh, nice body kick there from Victor. Oh. Big knee. From Salam Khan, you know, a lot of times the uh, people and judges will judge about by the first 30 seconds and the last 30 seconds. So very important to end the round strong. And we're winding down the clock here. Salam Khan missing. Victor looking very confident here. For the end of the fifth and final round. But did he do enough to defend his belt? Which way will this one go? We'll get to see some of the replays in just the WBC belt on the line. The middleweight world Salim Khan, Iber Grenal, take it home to Armenia. Here's some of the replays, nice cutting kicks there from Victor Hugo. Keeping his balance well, the Brazilian. Bang with the body kick, but just cut off balance by Salam Khan. Ladies and gentlemen, after the completion of all five rounds, the judges have rendered their decision. For the winner, by a unanimous decision, and the WBC Muay Thai middleweight world champion, in the blue corner, Salim Khan Ibrahimov. Presenting the medal, to the Brazilian fighter Victor Hugo is the president of the WBC, Mauricio Suleiman. And now bringing the belt to the world champion, the president of the WBC, Mauricio Suleiman.